morning, welcome from Thorpe Park, where it's our first family visit here. We haven't been here for, uh, as a family, well, ever. Uh, we brought Casper when he was very little, about three years ago. No, it was longer than that. Longer than that? He was three, he was like nearly eight. So, so there we go, and it's first time coming as a family of four. This could go eat one of either two ways, it's going to be a really nice chilled out day, or it's going to be very stressful. It's quite stressful coming through that queue line. It's quite horrible really, the fact that... It now? It's half past ten, we've been stuck uh, yeah. to get in. Ten yeah. ten? So half an hour so just to get to the park. To uh, on, on, no, and um, consider it's not even meant to be a peak day today. It's meant to be around about 56% uh, capacity it's meant to be on today. Um, uh, yeah, so hopefully, of course, there's a new ride high period for us to be able to get on. You need to find your fearless, for Casper to find his fearless down there. Well, we just paid six pound fast track, so it better be 60 pounds worth of well, There we go, it, it is the best <laughs> in the country. I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, doubt that. And of course, we just mentioned about the security. Of all the parks we go to around the world, this is the most rigorous security we've ever, ever encountered. It's, it's not pleasant at all, really. Um, but if, if it's all that to um, not get stabbed while you're in the park, that's what you have to do. It's just, it's just not really pleasant having to come to having to do all that really. But yeah, um, let's go. Let's go check out what there is here at Thorpe Park. So we enter the dome now as we come into Thorpe Park. It's just the area. So we've got all of the grabbers here. We'll check these out later on. Might get a lot of use later on these grabbers. And it is quite good to see. And uh, yeah, there's some uh, all sorts of carnival games, human claw machine. That'll be quite fun as well. Uh, and there's of course the uh, workers which are selling their uh, fast pass and uh, looking at your pictures as well for the day. And of course the island shop, which has got all of the park's merchandise. So one of the things that Eden can go on is the big slide there, depth charge. Uh, she's able to go on that one, so if we'll get her on that. And if, there is a children's playground which is down there, currently accommodated by a load of teenagers, so uh, we'll have to kick them off to uh, let Eden have a bit of a go. So we're heading around towards uh, Swarm Island now to see what it's uh, looking like down there. So me and Eden have just come off depth charge. The big slide, oh, camera's turning with me. The big slide that's in front of me anyway. And uh, well, Eden, how was it? Good. It was a lot of fun? Yeah. So that's one of the rides that Eden can go on here. Uh, and it's a great ride, it's a lot of fun, it's quite high. And you got a bit of air time, we bounced right off the track, didn't we? And you had your hands up as well, as you can see from the video there. So we're gonna head round to Swarm Island and see what's going on around there now. You're not telling me for that one though. No, <laughs> so we've entered Swarm Island. The atmosphere down here is always absolutely fantastic. I love the theme in here. It's really, really great. I'd love to see some extra attractions put down here as well as the uh, uh, Swarm itself. But it's a great ride, no doubt about it. And uh, yeah, just gonna go have a look, see what the wait time is for uh, Swarm. I love the crashed ambulances, the, uh, the near miss through the uh, plane wing, the remnants of the plane there. And there it goes. And through the uh, billboard, which is enough to, it was an after, well, an afterthought, it was added later on, but it's a great addition and it looks really, really good. As you can see, Swarm is currently on five minutes. So Robbie's just gone on for her first ride on Swarm in a long time. So she's gonna go and check that out. So five minutes is really good. I think everyone's gone to Hyperia. And then hopefully I'll get on straight afterwards. So Robin's just come off now. Uh, it's a five minute wait, so hopefully it's gonna be pretty much a walk on for Swarm, one of our favorite rides. Favorite rides in the country, really. It's a great ride, I love the theming. And it's done really well. And uh, yeah, any time you get a walk on this, it'd be great. I was expecting it to be quite busy today. It might be, it might be that everybody's headed over towards Hyperia and it'll busy up later on. But either way, I'm not gonna turn down a five minute wait for Swarm. Let's get on it. Oh, 
morning we've been on Swarm, which was a walk on, and you went on stealth, and that was a 15 minute. Well, it said 15 minutes, it probably took me about five. Really good ops today, I have to say. Absolutely firing those trains out. So, just coming out to this area, I've never actually looked around here before, and I've seen a few people post about it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You wouldn't even know where it was here at all. Oh, that's a good idea. Sit down on that bench there. And it's a beautiful, peaceful area to escape all the hustle and bustle, and it's a beautiful part of the park that, you, like I said, you wouldn't even know exists. No, I didn't. All the years we've been oh, watch out. <laughs> That's one for the bloopers. Uh, all the years we've been coming here, we've never ever been down here. Never even knew they exist. So yeah, it's really nice to discover these new areas. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's so nice. You can see stealth going off in the background there. If you can just make out there, going over its top hat. And it's great. It's completely out of the way. It's so beautiful. I just want to say, it's had a bit of a, an amazing experience there. I just want to say a massive thank you to Lee and Alexandra who just uh, bumped into uh, coming off stealth there. And they've just given us uh, an unlimited fast track uh, for the day there. They had a spare one. One of their uh, friends hasn't turned up. And uh, uh, it was going to go to waste and they've passed it to us. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to them. If you're not already, make sure that you are following them and subscribe to them because that is the, the nicest thing that anybody could possibly do because that means that me and Robin now can enjoy all the rides because we were uh, picking and choosing which rides we can go on as we do and uh, that's just made the day so much easier. So I just want to say massive, massive thank you to Leon and because that's absolutely amazing and such a kind thing to do and we really, really, really do appreciate that. So thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. You don't know how much that makes a difference to our day. So again, thank you so, so much. Ah, so there's Nemesis Inferno. It's currently on 35 minutes. But again, massive thank you to Leon and Alexandra. We're going to be going through the, the fast track entrance. So we're going to experience that, which is absolutely amazing. Can't wait to get on it. It's a great invert, this. Still the inferior one compared to uh, Nemesis Reborn, but here we go. So let's come off Nemesis Inferno there, about five minutes. It's now got up to a 50 minute wait, which is absolutely fantastic. Once again, massive thank you to you. I'm just going to be saying it all day. I'm so appreciative. And then we've just got on Mr. Monkey's Banana Boat. Cass, what did you think about Mr. Monkey? I like it. I don't know what. Should we find out? Now then, Eden, what do you think about Mr. Monkey and his banana boat? Did you like it? She loved it. There we go. She, she, didn't look she really didn't look like she liked it. She did, didn't she? Yeah, I don't think she... <laughs> it's a one hell of a serious face. We're going to head down this way because uh, I think we've got Hyperia uh, Plazas down this way. So we're going to check it out. Oh, we're on Hyperia Plaza down here in Fearless Valley. And doesn't it look amazing? I'm still getting these uh, opening day vibes down here. And it's absolutely incredible. I love seeing this coaster because it's an incredible coaster. It's the best in the country. I hope it hasn't changed uh, when I get on it this time. Still enjoy it. And of course, it's going to be somebody else is going to find their fearless today, aren't you, Casper? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. And uh, let's go and see how Hyperia is riding. Robin and Casper, they're going to go find their fearless and they're right near the back. They're going to get all that intensity as they get thrown over the top. Robin's very first ride. Casper's gone round again. We paid, we shelled out for another fast pass so we can ride with Robin. And they're going to absolutely love this. Can't wait to get their reactions when they come up. Absolutely so wish I could film on the ride. Here they go. 
Lions cresting that massive 236 foot lift hill. They're, gonna, they're about to get a new number one coaster for this country. Here we go. That outward banked airtime hill, whatever we call it, it's just absolutely immense. And now they're going to come around and get that huge stall. There it comes. Absolutely massive. What a ride. Let's go get their reactions. So Casper, over there, has just come off two back-to-back -back rides on Hyperion. Don't ask. Yes, we did pay for the fast pass. It was 120 minute wait at the time we were going in. We might well regret spending that amount of money. However, 120 minutes, waiting about 15, maybe 20 minutes to get on the actual ride. It's quite a delay at the merge point. Anyway, let's go to the actual ride. I've ridden it before. Here's my number one in the country. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a great ride. Casper, you've had your two back-to-back -back rides on Hyperion. And how was it? My number one in the country. And um, both times we went on row eight. So both times we was on row eight as well. So uh, pretty much near the back. So you've got a bit more intensity there. And uh, you were next to the, the steps there. So it's on the left-hand side. Not as intense on the left-hand side. No. Or as whippy. Um, Robin, how was your first ride? <laughs> you knew Robin is bring a bit of balance to this argument. Um, is it your number one in the country? Not sure, I'll probably have to have another go, but not 20 pounds apart. No, no, we're not spending 100 quid on it, <laughs> however. <laughs> but yeah, it's a fantastic ride. It's, it's, it's really good. The first drop was worth going on it. Yeah. I just wish it was more. You know, with me, I like, you know. Yeah, so you, you, Robin absolutely loves BM hypers basically, so Robin loves a lot of hype and a lot of airtime out your seat, not so much for the inversions. However, we did see we did see Mummy on it, didn't we? Um, so, but the stall's fantastic, isn't it? That part, and, and Casper had his hands up on, on the stall. Absolute madman. Um, but he loved it, he's definitely found his fearless. You found your fearless, we've had a great time. And uh, it's today, we was, we was having reservations about whether he was going to have a fantastic day or not. And it's turning out quite good, isn't it? We're having a lot of fun. I mean, I do feel freedom, but we, we've been having... Oh, Flying Fish is open now. I don't know why the camera's moved there. Uh, flying Fish is open, so that gives Eden something to go on as well. And um, we've been having a bit of a dance while we were waiting for um, Casper and Robin to come off from the Hyperion there. So Eden's been having a uh, fun of her own. She's been making her own fun activities. So we're going to have some lunch now, and then it'll be nearly time for some mazes and Flying Fish as well. So Robin's just gone to play a game now. She's gone on and saw the ride. Saw there, using the fast pass, however, smoking is not permitted in the queue. A bit of a bad experience there. Do not sit, stand, yeah. or climb on the queue yeah. line fencing. So we've got, so we've got each row seats. Kindly given this unlimited. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Casper's letting the lab back on now. We might have actually broken the ride now. Let's see if it works this time. I think it's actually broken the ride now. No, still not going. So Eden, the ride. Okay. <laughs> So the ride that Eden can actually go on, it's not looking very likely at the moment. <laughs> So we just went to go on uh, High Striker, which is just there. It's actually going up and down now. Uh, however, I did think it was me. I thought I was oversized. <laughs> and then we tried with Casper. Yeah, and then we tried with Casper. Casper's definitely not oversized, and it wasn't going. However, they have got it uh, operating now, but they have given us a fast pass for Flying Fish. We might as well go and check that out. Yeah, we'll do that. And hopefully I don't get... think Flying Fish will need a fast pass. Well, it's on 15 minutes before, but uh, let's go check it out. Just empty the queue line for flying fish since we've now been giving our fast tracks for it so we might as well come and uh, experience it no it's down to 20 minutes but i don't think it really is at all this is a great little family ride oh it's a little mercy's there we just got on uh, franklin the flying fish great little ride there, isn't it three lap special as well eden really enjoyed it hands up all the way around i wish there was more stuff like that. she's thumbs up saying how much she loved it i wish there was more stuff like that here because it's a really good park and i do enjoy it shame, isn't yeah it? like you know the the, the king's ride. Yeah. I mean, at one time, straight in front of us there, if we're, we're, where X No Way Out was, there used to be a, a whole children's area of flat rides there, didn't there? And of course, there used to be um, the log flume, there was the whole Thorpe Park Rangers. And it's a shame they haven't got rid of all that. And the train as well, because that was really, really good. Um, yeah. They were, yeah. Not 1.4. Oh no. Yeah. I, I thought it was 1.2, I really do. Um, but now it's time to do some mazes. So, um, Robbie's not going in. If you don't want to do them on your own, yeah. I'm going to do them on my own. Yeah. Oh yeah. We did. And I didn't like Yeah. Another time we went in the store. And I had to guide everybody around and I'm not, yeah, I'm so of course it's not here. Yes, of course it's not here anymore. But so amazing, was absolutely fantastic. And the first thing they actually did is uh, they split up all the groups and put them into a different order. Robin ended up being at the front and uh, lead the way through. But it's a great maze. It was really well themed as well. It's a shame. No, it was. It was really good. And take through all various scenes of the film as well. We're setting up to where the Stitches is now uh, and have a look at the, the Toy Emporium. Let's go check it out. There is the Toy Emporium of Stitches. Can't wait to get on this, it looks absolutely fantastic. I've heard great things, looks busy already. Can't wait to get in. So I've just come out of Stitches there. What a fantastic little trip through the Howells Toy Emporium. Really, really good, some great effects in there. Uh, I'm coming the wrong way again. I kept, I took a number of wrong turns there. It was absolutely fantastic. Really good. So I ended up being on my own for most of the, the way through. Loads of actors in there. Plenty of scares and uh, decent theming in there as well. Great audio. Some great use of animatronics as well. And uh, yeah, really, really nice little trip through the Howells Toy Emporium. And uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. Some great um, little bits of theming. Decent story in there. Nice little pre-show. And uh, about a 10 minute way as well. Fantastic. I'm going to have to try and check out another one now. Just heading down towards uh, Deadbeat now. It's quite cool as you get to take up all the view of the old slammer, which used to be their uh, old flat ride. Soon to be taken down, sure. It's been there for a number of years now. But I'm in the queue line now for Deadbeat. It's got an advertised wait time of 20 minutes. So hopefully it won't be too long before I uh, will be on this too. <laughs> dead beat there where the theme is really good the smells are absolutely fantastic in there the music's quite cool and the whole premise of it is quite cool just not a lot of jump scares in it there's quite a cool element at the end with um, um, somebody crawling over your head which is really really cool that's a bit unique uh, other than that the actors were working really hard there was like, loads of actors that were in there but it just wasn't particularly scary I thought it was just a nice cool little wander around though uh, so to head up trails is on 40 minutes and survival games is on 5 so I'm going to check out the survival games and then see how trails is
I have just done. Trailers, that's a really fun maze there. I've actually done that one before and I really enjoyed it. Really well themed, not particularly scary in the slightest bit. However, um, it was really fun, really well themed. Uh, I think there was some decent small pods in there and uh, some nice lighting. The actors were really good and loads of them as well. Really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the only one I've got left now is to uh, go through to survival games and uh, that's currently on 25 minutes so once you've done that job done it's just heading down towards survival games now the final maze to do for the day and there's also the scare zone as well but yeah let's go check out survival games see what's going on down here survival games there just completed that and that is arguably the most intense one here not again i didn't find it particularly scary you are separated from the group there is a lot of physical contact uh, but it wasn't a, it's probably the least best themed i have to say uh, silly fell over there at uh, least best themed uh, but and you all kind of end up being cajoled into a, a little bit of a maze up near the end nobody really knows the way out and then eventually get your way out and there's a chainsaw finale which is kind of, which is kind of cool i did enjoy it which is probably my least favorite of the ones that's here i have to say and that's kind of uh, all the scare maze that's here there's just one scare zone left to go which is the crows uh, i'm gonna catch up with robin now and uh, find out what they've been doing So I've caught up with the kids and Robin and they have been in the arcade with lots and lots of prizes. Well, we've, uh, I've been doing through the scare mazes, haven't you? Yeah, we've just been, I've spent so much money. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I know. So we decided to come down and check Franklin out and go on uh, Flying Fish again. And then uh, have a wander around before we go. And that was quite nice to get on Flying Fish. <laughs> Let's go and do Franklin. Oh, look at that. Nemesis Inferno going around. It makes an absolutely fantastic roar. I do miss that Nemesis Reborn roar. It's not like that now anymore, is it? It's a shame. We've missed it. Uh, but yeah, you can see the, the queue times actually not that bad now. Um, but I have to say, for a Monday night, it's a lot busier than what it was when we went to Alton Towers, I must say. Uh, it, but it's great. It's got a fantastic atmosphere as we're going around. And the lights fall in and the rides look great in the, in the dark as well. So let's have a bit of a wander around and uh, see how everything looks in the dark. So Casper's rocking out. It's got a great atmosphere here, and Casper, <laughs> Casper's little dealy boppers are wobbling all over the place as he bounces around like a bunny outside Nemesis Inferno, which is, uh, we had a great ride on there earlier on. <laughs> Casper's nearly fell over then, was him? I know, yeah. Oh, that's great. And the Hyperion there, just looking absolutely fantastic there as the sun's setting. That is the ride that everybody wants to ride at night. Of course, we're not going to be riding that. It's about a 90 minute wait at the moment, which we... Oh, yeah, we've spent eighty pounds on it already, haven't we? So uh, uh, maybe that's another time, unfortunately. And hopefully next time, Eden will be tall enough to come on a few more rides too when we come back. Because this will be the final time we're here this year. I'm not going to be back any time uh, before the close of the season now. Eden will be able to go on Hyperion four years. Yeah, in four short years, she'll be raring to go. She wants to go on it now, in fairness, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. She's complaining because she wanted to go on stealth. I, well, yeah, I don't blame her, in, in all honesty. It's a great ride. This looks great down here. It's a fantastic atmosphere. It's absolutely bustling with people. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. One day nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I must say, that in terms of, uh, do you notice the difference? Oh, that's uh, Lucifer's Lair up there playing, isn't it? The emo band. Well, I think it's a different so, thing. That's oh, is it something else now? Nah, I don't know. Uh, and you can see there's trailers here. 
that was on 40 minutes earlier on when I went through there. They have actually sold out of all Scare Maze tickets th tonight. Yeah, there's a sign on there, just on the side here. Look, Scare Ma Maze tickets sold out today. So that, that shows how busy it must actually be, in, which is crazy for a Monday night, isn't it? Uh, but what I must say is all the mazes had lots and lots of actors in. There was nowhere where there was loads of black spots where you expected people. There was people coming at you from all angles, which is really, really good. And what you want to see in a scare maze too. Spice Kitchen in there, absolutely fantastic place to be able to uh, get something to eat. Nice samosa and Indian food. I know. The second time you've told everyone about Oh God. Yeah, I really enjoyed it there when I came on the opening day. Robin hasn't eaten there for, uh, yet. We'll look down here and see how Hyperia's looking in the, the night time. Oh, and there is Hyperia looking absolutely amazing in the night time there with fantastic lighting package illuminating the uh, whole ride. Looks really great. So it was on a 90 minute wait. Oh, it's actually 80 minutes now, so it's a little bit less. However, it's not ideal for us to be queuing for that. Eden needs to get home to bed, don't you, Eden? <laughs> she says no. She says I want to ride Hyperia. And don't we all? What a beautiful ride. On night mode now, everything's looking absolutely amazing in the night. Lo love seeing all the light packs, you colossuses that all lit up there. Looks great. There goes so to head down to uh, the crows of Morkin Meadow now and check out the scare zone, and that'll be the final attraction to do for the evening. And then maybe get some re-rides, and then that'll be us done. Here we go, the crows of Morkin Meadow. Let's go check them out. See all these. Uh, Hay bales here. Because where the crows go, nobody knows. These are great attraction these. I remember years ago coming down here, queuing up for the saw maze. Shame it's Welcome not here anymore. To it's totally understandable. Where the men of Fort Village have been cursed to spend eternity as men of the straw. Here we go. Oh no. The actors have started. There he is. Oh no. They really do. Look so hard. These look great. See all the gravestones there. I love how they all look different as well. Really good. It's definitely better to do this in the evening as well, at night time. So many pumpkins all scattered around as well. One thing I must say is I kind of good there isn't more Halloween stuff that's uh, all lying around the uh, park. 
It'd be nice if there was. But the mazes have been fantastic. Great atmosphere here. That is the end of the uh, Crows of Morkin Meadow. The atmosphere is absolutely amazing. The Crows of Morkin Meadow there, nice little walk through attraction. You can definitely see uh, where burial grounds has uh, come from over at Old Towers. It's a nice little attraction. I think I prefer uh, the Crows though. I really liked all the different masks that they all had on. They look great. These uh, nighttime lighting is absolutely incredible. Looks really nice. Great atmosphere here as well though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, I must say, it's really, really enjoyable. That is the end of our day at Thorpe Park. I'd say it's been a much better day than I thought that we would we were going to have. Mm -hmm. it, it, no doubt, it is not a family park. It's not. It, I mean, it, the it kids isn't. have been on like three rides. All yeah. <laughs> but that said, I, 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 I'm, in fact, Casper, have you had a good day? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's been your favourite thing? Hyperia. Absolutely. He's found his fearless. <laughs> and Eden over there, uh, what was your favourite thing? Flying fish. Flying fish? Yeah. Eden absolutely loved flying fish she and especially laps she did yet yeah, last one we got a five lap special on there which is really really good it's a great ride um, and if only if uh, the mine train at Alton Towers had the same height restriction that'd be great wouldn't it so hopefully that'll happen soon one thing I do notice about um, Thorpe Park is that they have a lot more outside caterers don't they yeah. uh, which is good because there's more choice granted you might not get your, your pass uh, discount on there but it's better quality and choice well, of, I went in Ben and Jerry's and they give me a pass this Did they? There, yeah. Oh, that's really good, so, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's Unexpected. the same everywhere. Yeah. But obviously, it won't be in like Burger King and stuff like that. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's, it was. They oh, said that's good like, then. A discount. Oh, that's really good. 20% off. Oh, that's fantastic. And I have to say, uh, so you, you went on Hyperia as well. So is it your favourite in the country? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is, to you be need honest. To, you need to ride it again? Yeah, probably. I feel like I like an icon better, but it gives me really bad whiplash. So I, yeah. I something happened on it, and I've been struggling all day now. With my <laughs> she back, has, so. you were getting uh, whiplash on it, and she's been struggling back afterwards. Yeah. So um, I'm just repeating everything you're saying. I know. I think maybe it's just because I'm old, though, so just ignore me. I'm just a spring chicken. So uh, uh, yeah, so hyper. We we had such a fun time I mean, on Casper that. I had such a fun time, and mm. it, probably also to do with the fact that we paid like eighty pound between yeah. us to go yeah. on it probably took the shine off it a little bit yeah so absolutely like, you know when you're thinking the whole time is this 80 pounds worth of ride <laughs> 80 pounds Maybe worth of not. good yeah. but you know for us to get on that as a yeah. family we have no choice and this is yeah. what's so annoying it was yeah. you know the queue's 120 minutes you know for us all it, exactly to have a go. we yeah. haven't got four hours no. of the day to spend it, exactly between us and queues yeah. we just don't and, and, so. and even if even if we'd have used the uh, the parent swap, which which is available, that's that's great. They do have a parent swap here available, which means the second parent goes through in the fast track. However, that means that one parent's still having to wait the two hours, which it, it's a lot of time out of your day. It is, and like we said before, um, you know, we had bought the part the fast track. Yeah, it's twenty pounds. Yeah, me and Casper waited. Yeah over half an hour yeah in the fast track i'm sorry but if you're paying 20 pounds yeah. for one go you should not be waiting no you shouldn't be waiting yeah. like, at all it should exactly. literally just be straight up the merge yeah. like but we waited easily i reckon yeah. 30 to 40 minutes for that a, and I, I had the same issue on loads of it yeah and so and it's not <clears> other ones where i was just waiting we, you know you're buying an ultimate fast track yeah it seems to be a, a problem crazy. with the, the batching doesn't it yeah. i mean you're paying a lot of money you do expect to have that Kind of service as well i mean we aren't the biggest fans of uh, fa uh, fast tracks but it, for us it's a necessity it's about it at the moment, it, it, yeah sure. what well, while steve's still small and while casper's not quite hit that 1.4 yet um it is a necessity to be able to make sure we can get on as many things as possible and uh, i think today we've done much much more than we thought we was going to largely down to again massive thank you to Leon, Leon Alexandra for providing us with those uh, fast tracks it's really really appreciated and it means a lot to us because it's changed our day really hasn't it, it did, with the things yeah. that we could do I mean, yeah well, we got quite lucky in the morning as well because we managed to run around a couple of we rides did, before yeah. the masses appeared but exactly it took like 40 minutes to get in the park yeah 
like way you know before opening time we didn't get in the park until half past 10. yeah so so 40 minutes to get in the park is, is a bit crazy really on a day like this, it's not it's not peak today it, it most rides have kind of hovered around 40 40 minutes really yeah. apart from hyperia haven't they yeah. so it's it's a, it's a bit strange really that there's mm. so it takes so long to get into the park um, yeah. and we said with like the mazes like you had to do the between was it three and seven i had to do between three and four seven yeah. Of them. yeah and it took well it was it took three hours it was nearly three hours yeah, wasn't yeah. it so yeah from start to finish of doing them so yeah. i was obviously had, then had to go and find some stuff to do with the kids yeah. for like three hours which is very hard when there's nothing in there to do yeah. and the one ride that they could do you guys broke yeah so uh, high striker uh, <laughs> the legendary classic of course that was over where hyperia was many years ago um we went to go on that and uh, as you saw from the the video that robert was filming us on it it didn't go no. uh, they kindly gave us the fast tracks for uh, flying fish mm. um but it's just another ride, isn't it? That that that, that the kids do, couldn't, and then it couldn't was out do. Of yeah, so that's a shame. Then, so they never actually got to go on it, and when there's only like yeah. three rides anyway that yeah. they actually go on, it's not. <laughs> but I have to say, in terms of the Halloween stuff, one side of it, I'm kind of like, well, you wouldn't even know that it's Halloween walking around the park, and it's a bit of a shame, really. That there's no, you don't really see much pumpkins, much theming, even when you're that's walking. Funny, in, no, when you're walking in the park, I thought you might get some cobwebs over the. Uh, yeah. um, the railings or something like that, but there's absolutely nothing. However, the mazes were fantastic and they were really, really good. Mm -hmm. So um, you give with one hand, you take with the other, I guess. I mean, yeah. you don't seem to be able to do a, a full package in this country, really. Um, but the mazes were really good. I thought Deadbeat was funny more than scary. Um, some good bits of theming in there, some excellent smells, but not really particularly scary. Stitches was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one that you'd really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the story was really good. Um, trailers was fun. Um, a, a nice scare maze to walk around again like nice bits of um, theming in there the actors were really really good loads of actors in all of the maze as well which is really really good mm -hmm. to see um, and then survival games which um, I didn't really get the benefit of because I'm on my own uh, I'm sure if you go as a group when people are getting yoinked out uh, I'm sure it's it's quite terrifying um, but it, it was alright the theming isn't isn't the best in there it's all there's parts of it that are quite good but um, most of it's just kind of walking around uh, uh, but uh, we, we had a lot of fun though today haven't we yeah, it, it's, it's right, it actually. has it, it has right. yeah I mean, we left at what was it seven -ish. yeah so we've had quite a long day we now have. haven't we really yeah. considering but you know considering the kids haven't had anything to do we've managed to fill up the time and they were enjoying watching the rides and things like that but you know it is if to bear in mind if you're not into big roller coasters and your yeah. kids a small yeah. you're not gonna have a very good oh yeah day. it's a massive <laughs> you either struggle. like coasters yeah or don't come and don't come with small children yeah. I mean, that's like the, it's a massive struggle if you come with kids it really is we just don't come to this park like, ever. No. like the last time i came yeah. was four years ago because uh, when casper was like four it, that, that's exactly it and i, I we know had the same problem yeah then. i've been coming on my own for the last uh, few years because for that very reason mm -hmm. because um, it's just not practical. Uh, we're at the point now where Hyperia is being built. That's 1.3, so that's something that Casper can go and he can enjoy. He's totally for that. Come, and it? it is, yeah, it is. But it's nice that we've been able to experience the other rides as well. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting back on the, your favourites like Stealth and Swarm and all that sort of stuff, uh, which is good too. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow we're going to Legoland. So mm -hmm. that's something the complete opposite end of the spectrum and it's something for the kids to be able to enjoy all day tomorrow. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Let the positivity in and ride it out. Bye, guys.